Now, you've called for universally deporting illegal immigrants, uh, have opposed any path to legal residency. But what would you say to the mothers and fathers, perhaps, who have been here for years, even decades, and yes. built a life for their children? Sure. And I acknowledge that's a difficult question. I don't blame most of those families. I blame our own federal government who has given them a wink and a nod to come to this country. So let's be very honest. And I say this as the father of two sons myself. If we're being honest, if many of us were in their shoes in Guatemala or Nicaragua or Venezuela, looking for a better life for our kids and see a U.S. president who says, hey, it's OK, come on. And we basically have an open border. Maybe we would have done the same thing. That's the human side we have to preserve as our in our compassion here. But we're a nation founded on the rule of law. So with compassion, with dignity, without breaking up family units, we'll take the entire family unit. Yes, we have to stand for the rule of law. We have to return them to their country of origin. Again, speaking as a father, I'd have a hard time looking my two sons in the eye and say, you have to follow the law if the government doesn't follow its own laws. And I'm the president of the United States leading that government. But for the subset of people who have shown themselves to be law-abiding citizens, make contributions to this country, they should be able to still get in line for the legal path back into this country, which we will, I think, fix in many ways. Not to say that that's just going to open the floodgates, far from it, but we'll take a rational approach. The purpose of our immigration policy should be, first and foremost, to protect the interests of Americans here in the homeland. That's the purpose of our immigration policy. And so the amnesty system has been badly abused. We're granting amnesty to people who were never really undergoing political persecution. And that's going to change on my watch. I will do it with compassion. I will do it with respect and dignity for every human being involved. But we have to stand for the rule of law without compromise.